and the tree all spotted it's a bird of prey but now i can just see a silhouette so i'm going to see if we can maybe try to get a, a view of it from here craig spotted it um maybe we can get a shot through there how's that craig is that okay just with the sun setting behind it we can just see a silhouette but maybe maybe we can punch in and see what it is that's a batelier that is what that is a beautiful batelier now so, um, so as I was saying, I'm not too sure about the canine distemper, how or what it affects, um, but all I know is that it um, acts very quickly and can wipe out an entire pack within a week. Uh, it, it's happened in a few game reserves around South Africa, uh, and it, it does happen. I'm not, and they're not. They're also not sure what they got it from. Um, I was chatting to an ecologist uh, recently in the Kalahari. And he says he, he doesn't know where it came from, but um, but it, it got to the pack and the entire pack of, I think it was 15 dogs, got wiped out. Which is very unfortunate and very sad and very quickly, within a week, as, as I was saying. Now, Clint, you asked, what is the largest prey that this bird would probably go for? Now, Clint, this bird is actually predominantly a scavenger. Uh, they do like to feed on Oh no, I just heard it sounds like these the dogs are running to the east. That's not good. They need to come west. They need to turn around. So uh, Clint, the, the Batelier eagle, um, as I was saying, uh, often feeds on carrion, so dead carcasses. Um, but it's all reptiles and birds. Um, now, so I would say, so, uh, um, and, and some small mammals. I'm trying to think what small little mammals. Maybe, maybe something like a, a little rodent, um, a, 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 any like a scrub hare, perhaps. Yeah, something the size of a scrub hare. Uh, a batelier would be able to to kill and feed on that. But as I was saying, they do scavenge a lot, so they'll feed on carcasses. Often the batelier will get to carcasses before vultures do. They'll try and feed before those big vultures get in and then the batelier moves off. Them and tawny eagles. So often if you see a batelier and a tawny eagle sitting in the same tree or nearby, then the chances are there's probably a kill around. So that's um, it's actually a tip of the day. If you are on safari and you see uh, birds of prey like the batelier and the tawny eagles sitting in close proximity or in a tree uh, near, near one another, chances are there's probably a kill close by so have a good look in that area